Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. I hope that you will like what you see. Give the video a thumbs up and then subscribe a little for more. Today is all about kimonos. We're going to be sewing up a really quick and easy kimono using Simplicity 1318. This is one of their easy to sew patterns and this really is an easy to sew pattern. It comes together really fast. Um, I have really been sleeping on kimonos. I cannot believe this is the first one that I've made um, and I really do love it. It just jazzed up my, my outfit which was a simple white tank top and jeans. It just took it to a whole other level and I really want to make some more of these projects especially if you maybe are going through a sewing rut and you just really um, need to get your sojo back this is a great project for that the fabric that I'm using for this video is from LA Fish Fabrics this is a rayon chalice I really do love the way it drapes the feel of it nice and lightweight um, some of the suggested fabrics on the back of this pattern are your charmeuse, your cotton types, your linen types, silky types. Um, you can even use bordered printed fabrics if you have those on hand. Um, as far as notions, outside of your thread and your interfacing, that is all that you need. Really, really quick and easy sizes. If you are interested in the size that I cut, I went with the large and yeah, it fit great. I loved it. So once you have all of your pattern pieces cut out and notched, we can get started. Alright everybody, so the first step to sewing our kimono is we need to put stay stitching around the neck edge of our back piece. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and pin your back piece right sides together. Go ahead and pin and stitch that down. Or if you don't want a center back seam, you can always take out the seam allowance and just cut it on a fold. So after you have your back piece sewn, you want to go ahead and sew your fronts to your back right sides facing and be sure to finish off your seams as you go. The next step would be to attach your sleeve. You can see here that I've pinned and I've matched up my dots. Um, this is my sleeve piece and you're going to stitch from one dot in to the other dot in. So go ahead and do that for your sleeve. And once you're done with that, again, you can see I finished off my edges. And so you want to sew from the dot to the end of your sleeve, closing off your sleeve, and then you're going to start back at that dot and go all the way down to the end of your kimono. However, this is what I did at first. I just sewed straight to the dot and sewed straight down. I had to go back and unpick it because it looked really wonky um, up under the underarm. So my suggestion is to sew from one end to that dot, lift up the seam allowance, and then fold the seam allowance back down and then start back at the dot and con continue down to the end of your kimono. I wouldn't suggest sewing it straight and closing up that seam allowance. Move the seam allowance back, sew to the dot, and then move it back over and sew from the dot straight down. I hope it's not confusing, but you should just have a smooth seam going from your sleeve all the way to the end of your kimono. The next step after you have that done is you want to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and hem up our kimono. So you can press up 5 8 of an inch and then fold in the raw edge and then go ahead and create your narrow hem to finish off your hem for your kimono. After you have your hem in place, you can see here that I just um, opted out to just serge my ends and fold it up. The next step is you want to take your interface piece of your facing and you want to stitch the front to the back facing at the side seams. Next, you want to go ahead and pin your facing piece onto your kimono, match up your notches, and just pin all the way around, and then you're going to sew that all the way around to the end of your um, kimono. So just go ahead and sew that in place. Once you're done, it should look a little something like this. You can see that I went ahead and I finished off my edges, and I pressed everything up toward the raw edge of the facing. The next step, you want to take your uninterfaced pieces and you want to stitch them together the exact same way. So go ahead and do that. Once you have them stitched together, you want to go ahead and lay them right sides together over the interface piece. And then you want to go ahead and pin around, matching up your seams and notches. As you can see here, I have my pin, but before I take it to the sewing machine, um, I should have told you this before we pin, you want to make sure that you fold up um, 5 eighths of an inch press that down and then you want to trim it down to one fourth on the side that is not pinned so you want to go ahead and do that all the way around and at the bottom uh, you can see here that I have it folded and I have it pinned in place what you're going to do is when you sew it down you're going to pivot and then come over to that end that way you'll just be able to fold it and your your end of your facing will be already finished so go ahead and do that and as you can see here I have mine done I have trimmed off a little bit of the edge. Also make sure you trim off a little bit of that seam allowance. You can go ahead now and flip your facing piece over. Make sure that you do under stitching on it though before you close it up. 
give it a really good press and then the guidelines want you to um, slip stitch it closed but if you're going for like a casual look top stitching will be just as fine the decision is up to you as you can see here I have mine pressed and pinned and I went ahead and I slip stitch all the way around um, the facing piece of my kimono so the choice is yours you can slip stitch or top stitch you know just have fun it's personal preference but after you have that complete the last and final step for you to do attach your sleeve band to your sleeve as you can see here I did mine a little bit different than the, than the directions after I stitched my ends closed I folded it wrong sides together and I'm just going to attach this to my sleeve um, and then finish off my edges with my serger however if you want to do yours like the guidelines then just prefer to step 11 and 12 and then you'll be all done with your kimono thank y'all so much for joining me for this video if you have any questions leave them for me below I'll be sure to answer them make sure that you like comment and subscribe and then I'll see you all in the next video blessings everyone bye